Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous couple of videos, we have covered that how we can use LabVIEW to implement Modbus TCP protocol. Okay, so we were using LabVIEW to communicate with our Modbus TCP device and we were reading the whole room register data, input register data, input status data and coil data. Okay, so if the input status is high or low, I mean true or false, we can read it in the lab view. If the coil status is true or false, we can also read that. If the input register has some value, then also we can read that. And if the holding register has some value, then also we can read it. Okay, in the lab view. Now in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to write the value in the holding register of our Modbus TCP device. So here is my Modbus TCP simulator device. And here you can see I have my, you know, LabVIEW project. So I can use this LabVIEW project to write on the holding register values. Okay. So you can see uh, right now connection is disconnected. So I can, you know, go to setup, go to slave definition. And here I can select the holding register because I want to write the values on the holding register. So that is why I have to select the function code three here. The slave ID is one and I'm going to press okay here now i can go to connection i can press on connect and i can see the connection type is modbus tcp ip the ip address is my local host ip address so i have to use the same ip address in my lab view project so 127.0.0.1 if you have some physical device then you can use that ip address okay you can use physical device ip address here now port number so right now uh, in the simulator i have a port of 10502 so i can use that port i can use the unit id 1 as you can see here and timeout is 10000 millisecond okay and number of register i want to read and the starting address i have configured in the backend programming okay so it is not visible on the screen but i have configured in the backend programming as a constant so no one can change from the desktop okay so this is kind of a, a dashboard which is used to read the holding register data and to write on the holding register data so if you have this kind of application then you can use this lab view to control those kind of uh, application and also you can read those kind of data here so we will start our Morbus TCP server or we can say Morbus TCP device with the device ID and device ID 1 and function code 3. Now we have this holding register. Uh, I don't want to simulate the values. I want to set the values from my lab view project. So I can set my IP address, port number and everything and I can start this lab view project. Okay. Now whatever value of my holding register is having, we can see it here and we can also change the values from here so i can change the values from here okay so you can see holding register of zero has a value of 130 i want to change the value of holding register one okay this one to you know 400 so i can set it from here like 400 okay uh, yeah 400 also i can set for another few holding resistors so let me change like this one this one the full 550 okay so this is how you can control or this is how you can write the values on your holding register as well as we are reading the values of my holding register so uh, it is a kind of set point okay so we can control the set point from our lab view but if you write something from you know different Morbus TCP client then lab view will overwrite it because uh, we are continuously providing the set point 130 to our Morbus TCP device so if I write anything here like 96 then lab view will overwrite at that second only because lab view will continuously send this packet to our Morbus TCP device and it will set the set point okay so i hope this thing is clear you can also program in that way that uh, you have uh, written 130 in the modbus uh, tcp device holding register zero if you can you can also you know do the comparison if the value is 130 is fixed then don't write it again okay and if the value got changed then write it so you can also do that programming in the back end of lab view and you can make that kind of code as well okay but this is for demonstration purpose that we can use lab view to control our industrial Equipment. So if you have industrial Morbus equipment and you want to set some set point, suppose if you have inverter and you want to set some set point to the, your inverter, then you can use lab view to read data from your inverter and also you can set data to your inverter. You can also check for alarms in the inverter and you can display in the you know lab view dashboard. So everything is possible with the lab view. So I hope this thing is clear and if you want to change the value then you can change 
by using this kind of visualization tool you can have multiple visualization tool but i have used this for demonstration purpose okay so i hope this thing is clear and uh, if you still have any question doubt or any concern then you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere i'll happy to answer your question and uh, you can buy this lab view project from our shopify website I will provide the link in the description of this video also you can connect with me on whatsapp telegram instagram over the mail or you can you know comment on this video if you want to buy this lab view project okay after buying the lab view project you can make the exe out of this lab view project you can deploy it uh, in any production system or any testing system and you can make your own dashboard kind of stuffs okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question confusion and doubt you know where to ask so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video instead of the holding register control instead of the holding register update we are going to update the coil values okay right now in the setup i have used the function code 3 because we want to update the values of holding register from our lab view project but in the next video what we want to do is we want to control the coils from our lab view so in that video we are going to see this so in the setup instead of uh, holding register we are going to select the coil status and we will control the coil status from our lab view and we can also read the coil status in the lab view so everything is possible with the lab view so let's meet in the next video and uh, till then take care goodbye and thank you